And then I'm going to show you the threshing floors in every state and show you their condition. See, if you really want to understand this year what it really looks like, and all you preachers out there, it's Gideon. It's going to be a year that all of a sudden, after seven years of the Midianites taking the harvest, God says, I'm going to come down, and I'm going to visit, and I'm going to start raising up the type of warriors that I need to stop this robbery. And listen, people, think about Gideon. He was a mess. And I mean, he had to work it out with the Lord. So, I mean, it might have been the Lord. I would say, you have worn me out. I am not sending one more sign down there to you. I mean, I've met with you. And notice how God revealed himself in a way he'd never revealed himself ever in the earth realm. As Jehovah Shalom. As Jehovah Shalom. In other words, in the height of us going into the war of recovery, he comes down as Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. I will make you whole so you recover all. I want you to say that out loud. I'm going to start making you whole so you recover all. And listen, he had his work cut out for him with Gideon. He's got his work cut out for him with us. And then this incredible harvest transfer is going to start happening. You'd be surprised some of the places that are going to be harvested. I mean, certain places in the Middle East that you think are, I mean, and please just don't pray for California just to fall off in the nation, uh, in the ocean. It was hanging in the balance. It's still hanging in the balance, barely. Now, but Lord, tilt the scales some way there. Now, this gives you an idea of the angelic visitation that we're headed into. It's amazing. State by state by state. Now, I do not know if 51 meant that an angel would go to D.C. I actually thought it was Puerto Rico. Because I'm not sure the four biggies aren't going to converge on D.C. But I'm not sure that D.C. plays the same role that we think it really plays in the future. Now, now hear what I'm saying to you. We've got to shift. Atlanta plays a big role in the future. Houston plays a big role in the future. And Philadelphia plays a big role in the future. Now, that brings me to what I want to leave with you. And again, I had no idea. See, this year has lots of benefit about us and what's ahead for us. It's awesome. It's actually, when you look at it from Gamel, it's, it's a year of the garden. God has to restore us back to a place of worship that we've lost. Uh, the Passover this year, which will be 2023, we go... See, the Passover last year was about crossing over toward our promise. This year, it becomes the Passover of conquest. Who will 
rule in an area. And it will be noticed, very noticeable to all who is ruling. Therefore, God's got to look at us and divide up the leaders like he did and get us positioned properly. We've got to have this Issachar type anointing so we're able to know the moment. See, Issachar was the tribe that knew Torah. They knew they could use Torah to look at the sky and the stars and tell the time. That's why Daniel could teach all of the diviners in Babylon. See, I want you to think a little differently. I could probably sit down and teach all of that. I could speak at that conjurer's convention. <laughs> Wouldn't bother me at all. That's what Daniel did. He taught all of the conjurers and saved them from Nebuchadnezzar killing them all. He showed them there's a higher place you can get to. I have looked at certain people and I said, Honey, when you ever get through that junior witch stage of yours, we can get you to a new place of supernatural understanding. Now, lots of provision changes this year. Lots of changes and more strategies. 